So in today's video, I am using up a whole bunch of veggies. I'm tossing in some shrimp and serving it over sweet potato, trying to keep things really healthy and really nutrient dense. Come along with me, I'm gonna show you guys how I got this really quick dinner thrown together. I'm getting this really quick dinner ready. I'm, I'm just making this up because we're trying to eat healthier. And so what I'm doing is a stir fry. And really, if any part that snaps off under this part I'm tossing and this is the way I clean the asparagus but I'm actually going to chop this up with some shrimp that I have and so I have that defrosting and I also have some mushrooms I'm trying to eat uh, really nutrient dense and I have some sweet potato in the oven right now and so I decided I would film what I'm doing just so that I can take you guys along uh, yeah I'm just gonna try to take you guys along with what I'm doing. I really have no plan. This is very random. And I'm gonna finish getting putting these all up. Um, I picked these up today. They were on clearance. They're PBA free, which even if they weren't for two bucks, I would have still gotten them. But I do like that they're PBA free. This was at um, Walmart, and they were on the clearance rack, so two dollars each. I like to save our takeout ones. And that's what I, I only have like a couple of them and one of them is really small. So I was really happy to find these. I'm not even sure, I, I'm not really great at meal prepping. I mostly do pressure canning, but I'm gonna try to have this and redo my fridge sometime later on. I also got these mushrooms. I wish I would have um, showed you guys when I made my list. I did a couple meals. This was one of the things that I got along with asparagus just to try to pair up a little bit of protein, but mostly, um, mostly worried about our micros. I don't calculate my macros anymore, but um, I do I do like um, trying to get our micronutrients in as much as possible. I've been gaining a little weight, so I'm trying this, um, trying to just reset my, not, not official reset diet. But, and then I'm sprinkling some of this on um, even though I'm doing shrimp, this is for chicken. Um, I hope it's a thing. It is now. Okay, so my oil is already smoking. I just used a little bit of leftover grease from when I fried up some like, empanadas the other day. And here is where, sorry, my kitchen is such a mess. And this is just uh, something on the, on the fly. It's late and I didn't realize how much time I spent at the park. So I dumped these, they were defrosting. I put them in here to kind of dry them off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle this pollo asado stuff on them and get that flavor on there. And then I'm gonna start putting them into the oil and chop up my veggies and try to get those in there too. But I want these to have like a nice crisp on them if I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up real quick. Thank you. Okay, so I tried to arrange these onto uh, single single layers. This is not high enough anymore. I, I turned it down when my oil started smoking. But I kind of want this to be... I wanted it to get a little crisp on there. I think I should have dried it more. But I also don't want overcooked shrimp. So while this is um, getting cooked, I'm going to break up all the asparagus. Uh, these don't look like they're cooking up the way that I wanted them to. Oh well. C'est la vie, baby. Okay, so I put these out into a clean pan and I'm heating up a little bit more oil and I'm gonna put my asparagus in here. I got it all chopped up. Right here. And I forgot that I had some bread for my mother in law in the oven on the boil. And I burnt it to a crisp so if the fire smoke alarm smoke detector goes off that's why and I'm gonna let those cook um, a little bit longer before I put the mushroom in there because I want these to get a little bit softer and sprinkle more of this stuff. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll chop up the onions. After it steams like that, it'll start um, getting all that stuffed up stuff to the bottom and collecting it in that flavor. There's an actual word for that. I don't know. I forgot what it is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments. Okay, so yeah, so ain't got no stinking cheese. All right, I'm only gonna do about half of this package. Good, and I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of this um, onto here. Some more protein, some vitamin D. And get that tossed around. And I'm only gonna let the, I like a little bit more bite to my mushrooms. So I'll let those Hang out for a bit, and then I'll add the shrimp, and that will be done. Let's see what it tastes like. But I do like this seasoning. Um, anytime I make like a really quick um, chicken, I use this, and it always comes out good. And I use the other one too for carne asada. These have actually lasted me a long time because I don't always use them, but these are really nice for a really quick dinner. If you don't, if you forgot to like marinate something overnight, I, I like these. Oh, well, right. So that was only like seriously. I turned off the camera and turned it right back on. So I'm gonna add my shrimp in now. Doesn't look like much. And this is done. Everything is cooked. I'm gonna <laughs> see what. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, sorry, my oven is a mess. But look at what I did. These things look so good too. They look like they had guava inside or something. Isn't that sad? Oh my god. Okay. So I'm gonna just pull them out and try to start the oven up again with come on. Just the baked potato. I'm probably gonna try to eat the bottom of those. Dang. These are just burnt. I've got like three more in the fridge, so I'm gonna try again. Keep a better eye. Oh, keep a better eye on them. Isn't that sad? Oh my god. Okay, those are not done, I can tell. I like when the sugar is like coming out. Hi. Okay. Is that? Um, 450. Right now, these still have the tails on them, but not the skin. I mean, the what is it called? Shell? Yeah. But a mushroom like that. I'm gonna taste it and see how it is. Mm. Mm, pretty good. I'm gonna taste asparagus. Mm-hmm. It all tastes good. Real recipe. I wanted to show you real quick. This is the empanada for my mother and mommy. I went and picked them up from her this morning. I'm so sad that they burnt. They actually taste like they would have been delicious. It's hotter than Haiti. Oh my god. Mmm. so hot. It tastes like 
guava atole. I want them to be softer. That's what I like them to look like. The sugar popping out. Perfect. Like this one. Oh, mommy. See. Try to cut this thing in half. Salt, Himalayan, and a little bit of cinnamon. And open it. Pretty good. And then top it with this. Serving um, fajitas and any kind of taco toppings is one of my um, ways to get more nutrients into our dinner. And so this is just a really nutrient dense meal that is pretty fast and easy and hopefully it will keep us um, satiated so we're not snacking all through the night and whatever but i hope you guys enjoyed the recipe and thank you so much for watching